Alola friends, Zebra Drabby here, and we're back again! Uh, we got three more Dragon Majesty packs for you today, and then we're gonna go off and go to PZCGO and show off my Blaziken Zorg list that I took to, uh, took to the Pokemon League this last week. And, uh, to be honest, it, perfor it performed badly. It bricked. It bricked a lot. I went one and two. We only had time for three matches. That's just the end of the day on like a Wednesday. Um, so we just, I didn't have time to really do. And it only set up well that last game. First game, Kiawe turned one to the Shining Arceus and got donked. Because um, they just got turned to Garchomp and just swung with Cynthia. And that, that was it. That was it. We were done. We were done after that point. Um, second game I got my Zoroarks out um, but I was playing against Malamar Shrine uh, and they got their Mars Shatter out they took out two Zoroarks and then I stalled I stalled I stalled uh, I was able to Guzma up that Mars Shadow take it out and I play one Shrine so I took out the Lele as well because that already had 120 on it and kept ticking away at it um, so I got four prizes right away but he just had the final Mars Shadow, had three Malamars set up, had a, uh, a Deoxys to retreat freely with and that was the game. Uh, third game, finally got set up, had three Torchics set up and uh, uh, two, two uh, Zorics and just kept swinging, knocking out everything they threw up. Uh, so, I mean, that was the, the three matches, and that's how they ended up. But we're going to go ahead and bust out some Dragon Majesty. Um, we were able to get our hands on another thing, so we might as well uh, share with you guys. Here's a, a code card. I'll probably go keep the other two because I'm still searching for those Dragonites on the, uh, the online game. So that's an energy. We're going to guess a lightning energy. It's that classic fairy energy that we always get. Let me see if I can uh, get and, and get it focused here. There we go. It's a fairy energy. We have a Dratini. Followed by Trap Inch. Whoopa is here with that blizzard. Um, how close do you have to be to focus on that smile? How close to focus on that smile? We got the other Dratini. A Swablu. Jeez, Ugh, slight might be a little glary. Trying to reduce that. Cedra. We got a Dragon Talon. There's our Combustion. I think this is the one Combustion we play. I just kind of played a split of them because that's what I had laying around. Maybe if I back this off a little bit. I don't know. Come on, focus on the Flaming Chicken. We get a Reverse Combustion. And following that, we get a Zekrom Hollow, which I actually do want to try this thing out. I've been testing it out with the uh, the Electric Magnezone, actually. And uh, I haven't gotten too far with that testing yet. But it's something of interest to me is to test that out with the Electric Magnezone. If we have an ability to pull the... Um, the problem is the Electric Energy is getting them back from the discard pile after they are destroyed. So, I mean, that that's ultimately the problem with it, but... Oops, forgot to guess the energy, but it's a dark energy. Okay, we got the the horsey. A Bagon! Did that just, like, fly off? No, it didn't. Okay. We got the Bagon. Hopefully that means we get some Bagon luck in this one. Hakamo. I'm trying to make it where it's, like, centered and focused. Torchic. Maybe a little closer. There we go, Torchic. Charmander keeping dry from that rain. We got a Croconaw. Milotic with that Aurora Wave and Aqua Split. Haven't seen too much play from that. Heatmore with Singe, which could be good with Monferno. Reverse is a Davramaka. Make sure you make your wishes. And a Reshiram GX. There we go. To start it off, we have a beautiful Reshiram. I have some sleeves across here. Some specifically dragon sleeves, and that is a nice card. Let me see if we can get a better look at it. Flame Charge, search your deck for two fire energies, 
and attach them to this Pokemon and shuffle your deck. Scorching Column does 110 and your active and your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Not bad. So self accelerates and then Vermillion attaches five energies from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. That's a good one shot too. A nice, nice GX in Reshiram. That is beautiful, guys. Um, a nice Reshiram. That's that's nice. I wasn't sure if we were gonna start pulling anything in this because we we haven't really gotten any GXs out of these so far. So it's been kind of hard to uh, continue getting them. Well, it's actually just been hard because I've been between jobs. Um, but let's see. Let's go with a, we guessed electric, we did not guess fire, so let's guess fire. It's a water energy, so let's go ahead and bring that up to the camera and start things off with that little, little big jaw boy Totodile. We got Swablu after that with the Collect Corsola. I know I'm not showing the full card anymore, but we got Kangaskong has those three attacks, Fetch, Headbutt, and that one to punch. Where's the Mega on that one? Horsey. A Zinnia for those dragon types. Lapras with the Aqua Bullet and the Hydro Pump. We got Darmanitan, gives you that heat assist, gives all those energy cards you want. A Fiery Flint for the reverse, not bad. And a Full Art Blaine's Last Stand. What a beautiful card. The Bald Man, the Bald Man. Not, not a problem I have. Like, uh,. You can tell right now, we, we, we don't look very much alike, do we? Maybe maybe when I'm older. Maybe when I'm older, I'll just grow out the mustache and, and be like Blaine. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but let's see. What we got our pulls? We got our Zekrom, and then we got two nice fire types. We got the, the Blaine's Last Stand, a fire type gym leader, and then a... a of regular art Reshiram GX. Two beautiful pulls. And we can take that right into our uh, our deck now. Uh, I forgot to do the intro, but that is fine. I'm sure you guys are fine without the intro. But we're going to be going over to the uh, to the deck now. Let me go ahead and get that uh, transferred over. Let's just fade into it. Voila. We're working with Blaziken uh, GX here. Or not GX. We're not, we have one GX in the list, actually. Uh, so, I mean, we have one GX because that's what we had laying around. We do not have three of the fire starters. That is probably preferred in this list. So, but we went with uh, one Blaziken GX. And uh, we didn't get to use him too much, obviously, because he's hard to get out. Um, you want to focus on getting your other one out first. So, this one was kind of the last one out and usually did not do very much. Uh, we have that paired with the Fire Starter Blaze. Again, probably the better one. I love the Fire Stream attack. It does 90 to the active and 22 opponents all bench Pokemon, which is really nice, I think. Um, a lot, it kind of works like a Coco in that way, if you can get get it up and running, um, which is not hard. It's kind of the same cost. It's just it's harder to get out because it's a Stage 2. But with Zoroark, if you start with your Zoroarks, you can kind of get your Blaziken's out pretty quickly. You just kind of read the situation how it is. On the game, obviously, we do have three Blaziken's um, that we would probably play over the uh, the other one. But this is a list based off of my IR I IRL one. Um, so let's go to the beginning. To the beginning, we start with a Rangaroo. Resource management, actually. Because if we end up losing cards early, we're discarding with Zoroark a lot. So resource management is just always like a good thing to have when you're playing Zoroark. Because if you discard something and you don't want to discard, you can get it back with resource management. And plus, we play a lot of one ofs, a lot of one ofs decks. So if we have to discard them early, we want to be able to resource management and get them back. We have other options. We have a couple rescue stretchers. We have a pal pad. But, and we have Luzamine. But, uh,. Rengar is definitely one of the more useful ones because of that resource management. Um, and then we also have the Instruct for early game. You can also, with uh, with Blaziken, you can really uh, you can get all the fire energy you need on him to be able to Psychic. If there's something with a lot of energy you're facing that you need to take down, you can hit it for a little bit bigger numbers than you can with the Zoroark. And so that's the idea behind that one. Um, I have, however thought 
about replacing this with a um, with a Turtonator. Turtonator is, is not bad in this list because you're bringing fire energies back and you can just discard them again to uh, with Turtonator, which is pretty pretty slick. Um, so I mean that is a change that I want to make, but I think we're gonna try a game the way it is and then make that change. Uh, we also have a Shining Arceus, which is a little difficult to get going, but, you know, Blaziken has a similar effect as Malamar, and Malamar makes it work, so I figure Blaziken can, can make it work as well. And for that same reason, we are playing the Shining Lugia as well. Um, because, you know, if you get enough fire energy on them, it works. And with Kiawe, you can get enough fire energy on them right away, so why not? You're playing Kiawe, you're playing, you're playing these, uh, the recuperating fire starter with Blaziken, so why not go ahead and um, you know get them get them in uh, on the bench and set up. We got uh, four Zeruas between the two arts and four Zorax. General draw support that trade right to speeding. They're just really good, always, um, and that leads us to our Torchics. We're playing a two. Two, uh, we're playing two of the 70 HP and one of the Singe one. I think that's just what I had IRL. Um, I couldn't find all my Celestial Storm stuff, so I only had two of them. And uh, I had just pulled one out of that. Um, I mean, it might change now. If I can find the 70 HP ones, I'm probably going to play that. But uh, when Lost Thunder comes out, I'm going to be playing the 60 HP ones. That's probably pretty pretty simple turnover because you're going to be playing the 61 so that you can get the uh, the singe out right away and be able to uh, get them because they're all 60 HP or less. Uh, one combustion because you just can't solely rely on rare candy. Some days, sometimes you're just not going to get rare candy and Blaziken. So sometimes you can just get combustion and just slow roll it, get it out uh, more commonly. And I chose the one with the ability because you're not attacking with it. So the ability is just going to be better, even if it's not the most amazing ability. But I mean, it kind of makes it nice because if you are, if you are in the active, and um, and you have a special condition on you, you can attach an energy and then evolve it into the bigger Blaziken, and it cures it. I think evolving cures it too, to be honest. But natural cure, just because the other one, I, the other one, I think mine has more HP, but it doesn't really matter. And then we have the Blazikens we already showed you, and then one Tapu Lele to finish off the Pokemon. And that's a total of 20 Pokemon. This plays 20, 30, 10. So it's a pretty even numbers all around. For uh, trainers, though, we play two Great Balls just for consistency boost. One Max Potion. That's one of those resource management uh, targets. Four Nest Ball to get out your Zeruiz, get out your Torchics as quickly as possible. One Pal Pad for your supporters that you will see in a moment. Uh, three rare candies, I believe, is what we put in here. Because we're only evolving three times and space is limited. Uh, two rescue stretchers because we end up throwing out stuff we need and we want to get it back, whether it's Zorgs or Blazikens. Uh, for Ultra Ball, just for general draw support, also you want to be discarding those uh, fire energies and stuff. Uh, one Shrine of Punishment because it can kind of fix math sometimes. Um, I would play Devoured Field, but it doesn't do anything when you're playing Blaziken only. So this makes an extra win condition when against heavy GX decks. Because your Blaziken's going to be spreading. Your Arceus can be spreading. So it's like a different different game plan based on the matches you're playing. And so that that's why the Shrine of Punishment's in here. And plus, I mean... Uh... Like I like I said in my in my uh, recap from the thing from the league, um, it saved me in that one game. It saved it where I was going uh, when I was getting six owed to be able to take four prizes in one turn with Shrine, because Mars Shadow does not have a lot of HP. Tapu Lele doesn't have a ton of HP, and you can kind of build up to those numbers with Shrine of Punishment. Uh, Acerola, because you're playing Shrine. You play in Shrine, Acerola, you want to be Acerolaing up your Zoroarks. This is a, a way to protect your Zoroarks from that Shrine is the main way I use it. I believe I play two Apricorn Makers. Let me double check that number. Yes. Two Apricorn Makers because we are searching out our Nest Balls, searching out our Ultra Balls uh, to be able to uh, 
get our engine moving. We have one copycat, uh, just in case. That might be a nice cut, to be honest. Uh, one Guzma, which is questionable at best, but that's why we play Palpad, and that's why we play Losing Me, and that's why we play Resource Management, because we can't, we don't really have the room for more Guzmas, and we need more Guzmas. Um, that's one of the main, uh, Palpad targets. Two judges, because I think, is it two judges? Yeah, it's two judges, because Zora can handle being judged and judging others, so you might as well play two of them, and it's not clicking on it. There we go. So we got two judges, one Kiawe, just for that quick turn one, get all my fire energies out at once. Kiawe is great for that. Uh, three lilies because uh, it's a good starter as well as a good consistent draw throughout the thing. Or you can toss them if they're uh, in the way, to be honest. One Luzamine, so you can get those things. I'm tempted to take out the pal pad and grab two Luzamines so you can, can kind of Luzamine. Um, Luzamine for Luzamine and the supporter you need, but uh, haven't got to that point yet. And then one Kukui, also a card we wish we had more of, but this is what we have. I mean, it could be, it might be good to replace the three Lilies with like two, two, two Kukuis and two Guzmas, but uh, that's unsure about that one. And then we have four DCE general draw support and then six fire energies, which seems low. Uh, but that's all the space we really had. But yeah, I could totally see the Lily being dropped and putting in more Kakuis and another Guzma. But this is based off the cards I had at home. So it's kind of budgety, but not really budgety. And as you can see, there's no Cynthia's. Um, the way you shuffle back in your hand is going to be Judge and Copy Cat. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and save this. Um, League Zoro Blaze. Yeah, that works. So let's go ahead and take it to the ladder. And actually, check out that new Guzma ladder. I don't think I've played any on it yet. Because it's been a while since I've been able to play. It's been it's just been a while. I've been busy. Busy. Trying to uh, get a job and whatnot. It looks like I was playing Magnet Dragons last. Let's see if I can find this. There it is. League Zora Blaze. Is this the Guzma ladder? It is, yeah. So I've got, I've gotten three games in. We're going to get 75 more coins. We're saving up our coins for that Lost Thunder stuff. There is so much good stuff in Lost Thunder. Um, I got to actually... My next paycheck, I got to sign up for the pre-releases. I got to see how many I can go to because I'm in a new area. So I don't know where any of the pre-releases are. Any of the good pre-releases. So I got to contact some people that I know in the area that I think play. Um, as well as the people at that league next uh, Wednesday. To be able to uh, check out what, where I can go. There we go. Zerua start. Um, we're going to Great Ball. And then, if we go first, depending if we go first or second. If we go first, I can Copycat after I Great Ball. And I'll, I might throw down a Fire Energy too. But, uh, ooh, we're playing the Ralts. Alright, so we can Great Ball here. I can probably grab the Oranguru actually. I'm going to Ultra Ball for a Torchic. Throw in two Fire Energies in the discard. Or I should, have used, I should probably do another Zerura actually. It's probably better to get set up with that first. And I don't want to throw this down, but I will. And then we'll instruct for one. Loser means not useful, but we will copycat here. Just get six fresh cards. And we got the double ev evolution next turn. Kind of sucks we weren't able to find any Torchics with all those nest balls and stuff. But once we get the Zoroarks going, the Blazikins will come. So we have our opponent playing an Ultra Ball. They're trying to get started. They'll probably have to go for a Lele. Which we could have. Could have lele grabbed an Apricorn Maker. But their hand was pretty big. So I, I, was, I, pro I felt pretty safe going for the, uh, the copycat there. But again, when you're... Uh, 
when Elms comes out, you want to you want to mix those in there, and uh, probably for those Apricorn Mechas and maybe a Lily, uh, get three of those in there so you can get your just your board set. You would have uh, laid for that and grabbed you know the two Zoroarks and a Torchic or two Torchics and a Zora Azura. Just because it's, it's it, it works, it'll it'll set it up quicker. Every Zorak's gonna end up playing that once it comes out in a few weeks. So they got they got the Sylveon up. They pulled our Rangaru out. Did no damage to him, which is fine. But we can do this. They already have four cards, but we want to change those four cards, don't we? I think we do. So we're gonna go ahead and judge. Change those cards that he just got with uh, Sylvie on there. And grab ourselves a uh, Torchic here. And I think I'm going to trade away the Pokemon. Because I can Rescue Stretch for them back. Okay, we got a Lily for next turn. That's good. Let's trade away the Blaziken GX. For another tour chick, that's good. And unfortunately, I think we have to pass. There's no way I can discard. There's nothing I can do right now. But hopefully, I set them a turn behind by judging that hand. They're gonna have the magical ribbon again. I'm hoping. And I mean, if I get a rare candy, if I can trade for a rare candy, I'm going to be golden. Because then I can start getting things working and running here. I can set up this Lugia and uh, it can two-shot a Gardevoir with Argent Wing. Ooh, they're throwing around out their super boost. So this is that uh, Gardevoir Swampert. And they're feeling kind of stuck here. So they're gonna Lele for... Okay, they're gonna Lele for a Lily. That only gets them four cards though. I mean, so they had an out from the judge. Looks like they're just gonna attack this Oranguru, which is fine. That's fine. This is why I'm not sure about this Oranguru either. It's, it doesn't do much past like turn one. Turn one, it helps you get that extra extra card to keep going. But uh, past that, it doesn't work. Ooh, okay. Harshen my vibe, dude. Harshen my vibe. That's perfectly fine for me. Um, should I Lele, though? Because Lele can attack. Lele can two-shot a Sylveon, but then again, Sylveon won't be in the active if we do that is the problem. So that takes away my draw. And they plead so they did not Magical Ribbon. Which means when they Magical Ribbon next turn... The question is if they have a Judge I'm kind of screwed there. I'm gonna do this I guess. And I'll lose a main here. I guess just for both of these. That's fine. I don't know. I just have to take a turn back. They're trying to put me a turn back there. I don't think it's going to really set me back too much, though. Okay, they set it back so I could get they could get their Gardevoir up before I get the Zoroax up. I'm fine with that. Now their deck's moving. Okay. That was an important turn for them then. Hmm. I don't know how I would, I would counter that. I guess throw up in more Zoroarks instead of Torchix? That's probably how I would counter that. I 
So what's my turn this turn? I guess the two Zoroks. I'd probably trade away. Okay, so they're going to Magical Rip and we're going to Judge. No doubt about it, we're judging this turn. Because they're Magical Ribbing, trying to set up the next thing. They Max Potioned it. No, they didn't Max Potion, they just had no damage on it. So we're going to judge for those. we get this. question is, do I play any Switch cards? I don't know if I do, I don't think so. I don't think I play any Switch cards. Let's go ahead and trade from this hand, and then we'll judge at the end. Apricorn Maker, is that very useful right now? I actually think I'm going to trade the Blaziken, which might screw myself here. It didn't though, it didn't though. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and play one of these stretchers. Get all three of these back. And I could draw six cards with copycat, but I feel like it's going to be better to judge here. There's our rare candy. That we can play next turn. We're just not hitting very good right now. So this deck kind of bricks a bunch. Question is, what would I what would I put in? What would I take out for the uh, Turtonator? Would it be the Shining Lugia? I feel like it might be. I could see the Shining Lugia being what I take out for the Turtonator. But this gets knocked out. This doesn't get knocked out as easily as the Turtonator does, is the problem there. Another Zerua. Let's trade... Let's trade the Zerua. Lele Stretcher. It's not exactly what I need. Trade... Oranguru. I'm just not getting anything I need. Let's put a Fire Energy on this guy. Yeah, I'm just bricking. Bricking real bad. Like, it's kind of uncommon for uh, one Swamper to be drawing through better than two Zoroarks. But uh, that's what's happening right now. Yeah, they got that Gardevoir up. They're probably going to Guzma up the Shining Lugia. Would be my assumption. But I don't know if they go for the Lugia or the Zoroark. They're probably going to need to go for the Zoroark. Alright, good. They finally take that out. We're probably just going to go up with this and Arrow Force. These are useless now. Um, could use them, but they're pretty useless. Yeah, see, I'm just getting the worst, the worst draws. The exact cards I don't need. Like, that's pretty bad. I have to Great Ball in order to get the Blaziken out. We're finally getting... Getting that out. 
Haven't seen any of my, um... Hmm, where do I put it on? I think we put it on a Zorak here. Do I have three Pokemon here I want back? I feel like I gotta wait for something else to go down. I'm gonna Air Force this turn. Which does 130. I might as well Kakui. I'm thinking I might as well Kakui. Although, actually, right now, might be better to copycat. Yeah, let's copycat. Get a fresh hand of six. Because the cards in our hand are not helping us out. This is a little better. Can at least get that combustion up. And things are starting to move along. Now, is there anything we want to pal pad? Maybe a Luzamine? Yeah, it's just we haven't hit all the draw support. We've been judging for everything. But let's go ahead and arrow force here. Why did that only do that? Oh, because we copycatted. I was like, wait a second. Didn't I Kakui? No, I didn't Kakui. I copycatted. So I've been away from this for a little bit, so I'm like struggling to remember what I did. But I mean, this game is still far, far from over. Um, if I bust out the shrine, they're gonna hate me. I can tell you that factually. Um, are they gonna go after a Zorg, maybe? I feel like they have to. Yeah, either that or a Blaziken. What are they more scared of? More scared of the Zorg, okay. That's fine with me. Um, what's your retreat cost? One. Alright, this is where I feel like I do this. I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna do this. Go ahead and fire starter to... Probably the Lugia, actually. I could have hit this for 120, but I kind of want 90 and spread a little bit more. Let's throw it here. And if I pal pad, who am I pal padding for? Luzamine. And I guess Copycat. And I could get the Zorak back now. A Ranguru and a Zoroine. That doesn't seem half bad to me. Zork and that are angry. It's Palpad for Copycat and Luzamine. And judge the hand. Trade the Ultra Ball. I could evolve into this Blaziken, but I don't think it's the Blaziken I really want. I could blaze out, but... It doesn't exactly help me. And Fire Stream. And it has 130 left, right? How much HP you have left? Oh, this is going to ace a roll it. Jeez, that's ridiculous. So many cards right there that they just put back in their hand with ace a roll -a. That's a crazy ace a roll -a. 
This thing is 50 from being knocked out. Can they knock me out very easily though? 30, 60 is all I give them. They have to hit 90. They have to hit 90, so that, yeah. in a little bit of a rough spot. It doesn't look like I win this. There's too many too many dead draws. 150 exactly. That is crazy stupid how exact numbers were exact there. Unfortunately Blaziken is lost now too. guess I can trade here. The rare candy. Ace Rolla and Nest Ball. Let's grab a Zerua. Still didn't exactly get anything I could use here though. So all I can really do I mean, I wish I could evolve into the other Blaziken, but does not seem probable. So I guess I'm going to do that and Lily here for two cards. Two cards I can't use. We're going to Argent Wing on this Gardevoir for 120. And it already has Knockout. So I'd want to come in and hit for 90 here. Which means I need to promote Zorark and find one of my two other DCEs out of 13 cards. I clearly have DCEs prize. But, you know, I'm trying to make this work and it's it is what it is. Gardevoir is one of the st strongest stage twos ever, as shown right here. Might as well concede. Whoa, proven they can take out a 240. Versilify, big boy. It might be Versify, I don't know. So that was poorly played, I think. That was very poorly played, I think. Um, I'll go ahead and leave the list down in the description for you guys. At least we have the hype of pulling Reshiram GX there. Um, which actually could probably work well in this list, but I don't have one. I would suggest... I mean, a Victini might be nice, but it's not not very strong with only six energies or only four really at that point um but i can highly suggest if he's here this boy right here i can highly suggest throwing an explosive jet in here that way once you do get your t couple blazikens online you can uh explosive jet for 150 damage or 100 damage every turn so I would suggest throwing that in there, maybe taking out the Evangelia that didn't do very much for us. Um, but I mean, mainly with this, you just want to set up your Zoroarks and make sure you trade efficiently. As you saw, I kind of struggled with that. I don't think there were some there's some cards I didn't need at certain points, and I didn't trade them well. And some of these one ups are hard to find, like Strine, which could have changed that last match entirely because they had a ton of ton of GXs out, and finding Shrine just was not possible. And also that Luzamine loop would not be bad. Um, I would probably... Let me copy this first. I would probably immediately suggest, you know, maybe dropping this to a 2 and upping that. So you can find those Kukuis more often. But as you saw, like I barely ever could use Lily there. I had to keep using Judge. And I got Judge back a couple times to use again and again and again. Um, so... I mean, go ahead, work with the list, guys, and see what you guys can make out of it. Um, but I'll probably leave it at that. I might test it a little more on my own 
but I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. So go ahead, check out the list, uh, try it out on your own, make your own uh, your own uh, adjustments for your play style, and uh, let me know how you guys do on it. And also thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. Be sure to check out squeaksgwe.com for more Pokemon content. You also see price guides there as well as podcasts and a bunch of streamers that are streaming this game and do it a little more often than I do. Uh, so I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in another video. 